Well, good morning, guys. Uh, well, this is the day that uh, the shed gets its paint. We've uh, finished the construction on the, you know, basic shed itself. Um, you know, there's some trim and stuff like that, but that needs to be painted before it goes on. Um, due to, you know, finances and all that good stuff, I'm going to wait until next season to side the shed. So, um, what I'm going to do is put a quick coat of paint on it, just to protect the, uh, sheeting from you know, the rain and snow over winter. And then we can uh, go from there next spring. But been down and picked up some uh, white paint. Just your plain run-of-the-mill white. As well as I have this old can here from uh, when I did the other shed of the trim blue. I don't even know if this lid's even going to come off because it's been, I don't know, two years, three years since it was opened. Well, it's better than some of the other ones I've opened. There you go. Give her a stir and see if it's usable. It's like pretty much a brand new can of paint. There's only about an inch out of it. Looks like it's going to stir up. It uh, looks pretty light. But when it dries, it dries the, uh, I don't know what to call it, um, the trim clad color that matches it is called like a midnight blue, but I forget what the paint uh, color is called. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get the shed paint underway and then, uh, We'll uh, do all the trim and everything. I'm probably gonna take the time and run some tape along these uh, hinges, you know, just to keep them from getting full of paint. I am still undecided if I'm gonna do a light underneath the uh, eaves up here. I might leave that because. Uh, when I get the trim on there, the trim's going to come up to here. And uh, we'll see then, because, you know, that's one of the nice things about not siding it right away. If I decide I want to add something on there, I can put it on and then not have to worry about modifying the siding. But uh, we'll get the paint underway and I'll give you guys an update then. Well, guys, just a little uh, update for you. I guess you could say we're, uh, like, halfway through, or just a little under halfway through. I've got this wall, of course, all done, and as well as the uh, back wall here. It's all painted. I need to do the uh, fascia board here. I'm going to do it white and uh, get in there with a brush and do some of the tight corners. The uh, trick with the painting is not to put it all on in the first coat. Try to just, you know, don't have to get coverage. And uh, as it is with this shed, I don't want to, you know, spend 100 bucks on paint on it because I'm going to end up siding it next year anyway, so it's not going to be, you know, full coverage. I've got uh, probably about half a can left and I'm halfway through. The doors are going to take the bulk of the remainder of the paint. 
I can, I'm hoping to be able to paint it for, uh, you know, a can and a half. But, uh, just giving you guys, uh, it's supposed to be a great day for painting today. The, uh, it's supposed to be like plus 28. Got one of the hottest days we've had in probably the last two weeks. So, uh, if I can get her all painted here in the next couple hours, it'll, uh, bake throughout the day and be like, you know, perfect for the night. So, we'll do a few more coats here and, uh, Well, guys, uh, here we go. I was going to save you the uh, boredom of watching me roll paint. But, you know, I couldn't resist. It's uh, interesting uh, when you're painting on the OSB. It's kind of a rougher surface. Catch that little drip. Just noticed it, it a couple little droplets there on the uh, ground. But um, I did, uh, we were living in a house and I did the basement all up and, you know, I didn't want to uh, spend all that time doing the drywall, all the mudding and taping. So I just used OSB and uh, every time every place there was a seam um, I put a I believe it was a 2 by or sorry a 1 by 4 I ran the pieces uh, um, horizontal and kind of made it look like a wainscoting with a chair rail kind of a deal that was the final vision for that basement but um, things changed with that one and uh, you know of course the next people in there probably uh, didn't like it and gutted it and put drywall in there anyway but whatever it was good for what I wanted did us quite well but um, I got about uh, a quarter of a can left and probably uh, enough paint to finish this uh, little top area left in the tray so I might actually make my uh, my one can uh, goal because I still want to give uh, the edges a good coat and do this uh, fascia board there and then of course I've got to do the inside of the door because um, the door is not going to get sided the door is going to remain wood, so I got a. I'm. I might end up using a can and a half, but uh, we'll have to see how she soaks in and uh, go from there. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty much uh, everything has a coat of paint on it. The doors, uh, I'm going to give an extra coat because uh, you know, as I said, they're not going to get sided or anything. But um, the shed itself, I might go over again one more time. I have, you know, pretty much, uh, I have uh, three quarters of a can of paint left. And, uh, you know, when you walk around the shed, you, uh, you can see some areas that are still a little uh, thin, as well as I need to touch up some of the edges. But, uh, it's going fairly well, uh, one thing nice about, uh, you know, paint is, uh, it kind of like tells you that, uh, you know, the end of the project is near, you know, once you got, once you got the paint going, you know, you're, you're close to the end. But, um, I'll get back to painting here, and then, uh, I'll give you another update in a bit. Okay, guys, I, uh, I did make my goal of, uh, 
a can and a half. But, you know, what good is half a can underneath the stairs in the basement not being used? So I went around it again and, uh, you know, gave it another good uh, coat. Um, I'm debating, I'm just taking a bit of a breather right now. But uh, it's really, really getting warm right now. I'm debating whether I should do the trim today or tomorrow. It's sitting at uh, about uh, plus 25 right now, so it's starting to really, really cook. I think um, I got one more little bit of paint left in my tray here. So I'm going to roll it on the uh, inside of the doors and I'll do one more walk around the uh, shed to see if I've missed any obvious nasty big ugly spots. Well I've decided I'm going to paint the trim today. Might as well take advantage of the hot day to do it in. You know that way it'll bake. My luck if I wait till tomorrow or you know whatever the next day I feel like doing it it'll like snow or rain for a week or something you know and then I'm kinda SOL just giving the old paint here a stir as I said it's old I'm not 100% sure on the uh, exact uh, date but um, it's been a few years since I used it So we'll get her all mixed up, dump her into the uh, tray, and start rolling. And yeah, as I said, guys, this paint dries darker, quite a bit darker than what it looks uh, right now, just to give you a comparison. This is the color that it is dry and this is the color that it is wet so it like darkens up you know like three shades almost when I first had it uh, mixed I took one look at the color and I went no way man that's not the color I wanted and uh, I had uh, a couple of issues getting this color mixed I couldn't pick the color out of the little chart for it to be uh, mixed and uh, what I wanted was a dark blue color I just happened to have a piece of metal uh, I don't know what they call it the same stuff they put on uh, metal roofing and stuff right I just happened to have a piece of that kicking around so what I done is I took that metal piece down with me and uh, they uh, did a color match and uh, got this color you know it's a darker color it kinda goes nice it's easy to match for uh, you know plastic paint and uh, metal if you're doing anything out of metal you want it painted I did some flower pots here this spring that uh, I painted the dark blue and like I said I just used the simple trim clad uh, I think it was like midnight blue or whatever it was I might have the wrong name and uh, it matched up pretty much exact Well, I'll give these a coat or two, and then I'll give you guys kind of another uh, shout. Hey guys, just to give you a comparison to how uh, difference in color the dry paint is compared to the wet paint, how, uh, how much darker it dries. This is pretty much dry, and I got fresh stuff on the roller. See the difference in the color? It dries like, you know and uh, like as I said I put it on and I was like no way this ain't the right you know what I'm looking for so 
so I let her dry, and yeah, it dries to the color that I want. I just thought I'd show you the the difference between the uh, the two shades. Well, guys, uh, I've uh, got the trim pieces painted. I'm uh, gonna color a day. The heat's getting pretty strong out here. But these should all be baked and uh, dried for uh, to be put on the shed. <coughs> and uh, the white turned out fairly well, considering. I'm just gonna clean up here and collar a day, and uh, everything should be uh, okay. Everything should be good. As always guys, thank you for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.